Okay, so with this experiment, use just basic scotch tape. You don't need anything really fancy. Now, when you take it off, you know, it's gonna be about this long. One thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do is you wanna put a little flap on the edge. And so what I mean by that is you take the edge of the tape and fold it over. And so this way, this gives you something that you can hold on to. Now, I already have one on there, but you can see now with the little flap, it's very easy to pull. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with two of them and they're separated apart. And so when I bring them together, you can see how it really pushed the one away. Now, one thing that I also found out is it's, you can get a better effect, you know, if you use a new one kind of every time and so don't reuse the same one. Now, for the second time you're gonna be doing this, you wanna have one that's slightly longer. And I'm gonna put the slightly longer one down on this, in this case, the meter stick. Now, you might be wondering, why am I putting them on a meter stick? Well, th this table is a whiteboard table. And so what I discovered as I teach is that due to the surface of the table with the, whether it's glass coating or the whiteboard surface, it doesn't work. So this experiment won't work on these type of surfaces, so I have them on a meter stick so I can still use the tables, but I get the experiment to work. So now I take it off after I put them together and I pull them apart. And so now you see how they come together towards one another. Now, I like using this in the beginning to help develop some observation. So I don't want to talk about charges. I don't want to talk about, you know, expect them to have a definition of what electrons are. But the key point is that in this first part, whatever I did on the left and whatever I did with the second one, I did the same thing to both. So whatever happened is they're similar and they're pushing away. You see how it's not pushing away as strong this time. But in this case, I now have it on the ruler first, or on the meter stick rather, and so I did something, I'm taking something off of the meter stick, and now when I take the second one away, I'm taking all of those things away. So this one has a bunch of something, and the one on the side, the longer one, it has a deficit. So those two are now different. And so I use these to start talking about charges and positives and negatives, and just how the fact that whether they're similar they're going to repel, but if they're opposites, they attract.